Yo, what's going on guys? It's Jack and welcome back to another video. And uh, this may be a little late if you guys didn't see it already, but uh, I think it's pretty safe to say that from now on, at least for the next three, maybe five years, maybe a little bit longer, who knows, uh, we are going to be getting two Call of Duties every year from now on for the time being. Because let's face it, the Activision, which is the publisher of all the Call of Duty games, basically, they're the ones that are pretty much in charge of everything uh, beyond the development stage. Because they're the ones that basically provide, you know, the money or whatnot and the promotion and, you know, they publish the game. So anyway, these guys are very, very well aware. They're very smart business people. And these guys are very, very well aware that the community wants the old Call of Duties uh, brought to current consoles. They, they want the backwards compatibility and everything. But like smart business people, these guys are going to figure out a way how to profit from that. Now, how do you profit off of old games, uh, old Call of Duty games? You remaster them. And on top of that, how do you profit even more? You basically do what most of us, or at least a certain percentage of us, uh, Call of Duty people hate, and that is, you know, add supply drops, add camos, and stuff like that. I mean, I heard today that Infinite Warfare, okay, they've got these, like, I don't know, $100 camo packs or something, like, there's, like, camos that are worth, like, $100 or something like that, and there's actually people out there buying these packs so that way they can get their camos. Go figure, right? Uh, but to each their own, you know, if camos make people that happy and if it's worth it to them, then, hey, you know, who am I to judge, you know, I... Uh, you know, I certainly, like for instance, I'd be, if they remade Black Ops 2 and remastered it, I'd be a sucker to get it. Same thing with Black Ops 1, same thing with Modern Warfare 2. I mean, I'd be a sucker for it. Why not? The more the merrier. I'm all about that. But with all that being said, these guys know how to maximize their profits, if that's the uh, correct term to use. And it is a legitimate answer to the to that question. How do we profit off at all Call of Duties? Now, Will they bring Black Ops 2 to backwards compatibility? Sure, I think they will. It's only a matter of time. They've already brought a few of them back, like uh, uh, World at War and uh, Call of Duty 2 and 3, I believe it is, Black Ops 1. So uh, Black Ops 2, it's only, a, it's only a matter of time before that happens. But at the same time, when you remaster a game, that's going to that's gonna beef it up even more, and people are going to want to play that as well. Everybody that played COD 4 during its heyday is absolutely loving Modern Warfare Remastered. Obviously, there's a few things that they don't like, but for the most part, they're absolutely loving it. So, uh, I think the same initial reaction is going to happen with uh, the newer games. Now, I don't think I don't know if they're going to go in order. I think Treyarch is going to do Treyarch games, obviously. Um, or Treyarch games are going to be remastered when the, tr the new Treyarch game gets re-released. And then s when the Sledgehammer game gets released, they're going to basically... Uh, Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer are going to alternate between the uh, the Infinity Ward games, the old Infinity Ward games. So if they're going to go in, go in order, then obviously World at, War t uh, World at War is next. And then after that, you got Modern Warfare 2. And then after that, you guys know the order and how it goes. Uh, if not, it's going to be slightly different. So... Uh, Come next year when Sledgehammer, or should I say come later this year when Sledgehammer uh, releases their game, uh, my question is which game are we going to have? Are they going to go in order and just do, uh, are they going to release World at War or are they going to go straight to Modern Warfare 2? Or are they going to do another one and just completely just, uh, you know, <laughs> completely give us a different game in general? Who knows? I mean, ba Black Ops 2 is the number one most requested Call of Duty to, uh, to be requested for backwards compatibility. With Xbox One, uh, it beat Red Dead Redemption recently, so uh, they could do that, or they might they could do that on the next one, or they might just save it for when the tr next Treyarch game comes out and just hit us with a huge bomb. Because everybody knows that you know, in a few years from now, when the next Treyarch game is going to be, we all know it's going to be boots on the ground because we've been requesting it for a while now. And uh, for them to go back in time, which is something they specialize in, they specialize in uh, games that take place in the past as well, because that's all that's how they got started, and they're damn good at it. Um, that, along with bringing back the last great boots on the ground Call of Duty in, uh, in Black Ops 2 Remastered, that would be pretty badass, and I think it would definitely sell well. Everybody loves Black Ops 2, at least for the most part, the vast majority of the community loved it, both from a pub's Pub public standpoint and from a competitive standpoint as well um, so I think it could definitely be a success and, and the thing is I it's pretty much safe to assume and, and believe that from now on we are going to get 
two Call of Duties. Uh, you know, I mean, and there's definitely a pattern. I mean, ever since Call of Duties have been released on a Friday, uh, it seems like they're going to keep getting released on a Friday from now on instead of uh, on a Tuesday. So, uh, so whatever, whatever benefits the players and the company alike, and that's what they're going to do, basically. So... And that's how they do it. They think about how they maximize their profits, and it's a sure way for them to maximize their profits. And, you know, when a new game gets remastered, it also has the potential of bringing back all those old-school players that basically started with the old games. I'm sure there's a lot of players that uh, haven't played Call of Duty in a long time that literally bought the Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare just so they can get their hands on COD 4 remastered again. I guarantee you. I mean, can you imagine how low the sales would be for Infinite Warfare if they didn't do the bundle anyway? So... At the same time, if uh, Activision doesn't have that much faith in Sledgehammer, I personally do actually, I'm going to get into that in a minute, uh, if, if, if they don't have that much faith in Sledgehammer, uh, you know, at least they have, a, they have a backup plan, you know, they got to they gotta remaster a Call of Duty that everybody would want to play again. Everybody's crazy about Modern Warfare 2, everybody's been asking for that for a while, so uh, like I said, they may or may not go out of order, so only time will tell in what game they decide to release. And uh, they might just go by the company, and there you go. And the reason why I have faith in Sledgehammer is because they made their first Call of Duty game uh, in Advanced Warfare, and in my opinion, it wasn't that bad. Yes, it had its problems. I think skill-based matchmaking was a bigger problem than the movement, actually. Uh, and uh, also, a lot of people had trouble mastering the movement, and people with uh, scuffs and elite controllers definitely had the upper hand, which was another sort of a problem, but... They did something that the community asked. Back when Advanced Warfare was released, everybody wanted to change. Everybody wanted something different. And they sure as hell provided it. So if they've been listening to the community like they did before, uh, and, and everybody's been wanting to go back to old school, back to boots on the ground, and, and learning from their mistakes that they made in, the, in their previous game, with, the, with that just said, I think we can end up with a hell of a Call of Duty year next year, or should I say this year. So, and on top of that, they have a studio that's just about as big as Treyarch. They're not a smaller studio like Infinity War is. So they can get a hell of a lot more done. They can make the game a lot beefier and replayable. So that's, those are a few of the reasons why I have faith in Sledgehammer. And I continue to remain optimistic. So uh, my question is, which Call of Duty do you think they are going to remaster next? Let me know down in the comments section. I'd love to know. I'd love to start a conversation on it. This is the stuff that personally gets me hyped because I love Call of Duty and I love to see it go back to its roots. So that's it for this one, guys. If you liked the video, let me know. And if you don't, let me know what I can do to make my videos better. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.